Hello friends, I am Dr. Anjum Rashid. Today I will talk about transient and benign rashes in newborn baby. Now this is the structure of normal skin. The upper layer is the epidermis, then lower down is the dermis, hypodermis and subcutaneous tissue. Another benign rash is transient neonatal pustular melanosis. Transient neonatal pustular melanosis usually occur in full term infant and both sexes are equally affected. They are more common in African Americans than in the white infants. They are always evident at birth. Now there are three phases, so three types of lesions can be seen. First is the superficial vesiclopustules without any inflammation. Now these range in size from 2 to 10 mm and they may be present in utero, but they are always evident at birth. Now they are very fragile, easily wiped away during initial cleaning of the skin. However, they may persist for about 2 to 3 days. Second phase is the call rate of fine scale around the ruptured pustules. And third phase is the hyperpigmented brown macule at the site of previous pustulation, which may persist for about 3 months. Now, one or all type of these lesions, they may be present in a profuse or sparse distribution. Lesions of transient neonatal pustular melanosis are commonly seen on anterior neck, forehead and lower back, but they may be seen on scalp, trunk, limbs, palms and soles. Now histologically, these are intracorneal or subcorneal pustules which are filled with polymorphonuclear leukocytes, debris and occasional eosinophils. Now in the macular phase, there is increased melanization of epidermal cell. Now culture of these lesions are sterile. Usually no therapy is required and these lesions self-resolve. Differential diagnoses include erythema toxicum, milli area, infantile acropustulosis, eosinophilic pustular folliculitis. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel.